are many people who are sure of themselves meaning that they're so confident in what they think is right that they do not give other people's perspective or other people's thoughts and what happens there is the person becomes very narrow-minded and they can never learn new things so the issue is this arrogance and pride is haram and forbidden in Islam but unfortunately most people they don't recognize this as being in the haram because they don't recognize they are doing haram because they think they're doing what's right so that's one of the worst evils a person can be in because he doesn't even know he's doing evil but he's doing it so arrogance and pride is a very very dangerous quality and unfortunately and sadly uh, this is prevalent in our society because and this is like a disease of the heart you see there's many sins that are apparent but then there's sins that are, you can't see you can't recognize you can't touch you can't feel so these sins a person needs to be very careful of and the cleansing of the heart see in the olden days there used to be uh, shakes you know you used to go to and uh, they would tell you do this do that they make you do some sort of you know cleaning some sort of humbling activities which would make a person uh, humble himself to such a level that his pride would be destroyed his arrogance would be destroyed he wouldn't so basically what I'm trying to say is don't have confidence in what you think is right don't have confidence in the things you are doing always have confidence in Allah don't have confidence in yourself see with me before I make a decision I'm like the worst person to make a decision you know I, I find it very scary very difficult I get so confused I look at the advantages and disadvantages over evaluate so in a sense me as a being uh, I'm naturally inclined towards someone else to tell me what to do do you understand I look for the signs from Allah I don't I don't look for think that this is right and this is wrong do you understand I say I don't know let me look into it you know uh, should I go right should I go left um, I don't know. I always ask people. I make mashwara with people. See, mashwara consultation is a surah in the, is a whole surah in the Quran relating to it. You know, but people don't do it. It's a sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu It's a command of Allah. People don't do it. So don't be arrogant and con uh, and have your heart open to what people are saying, what people are suggesting. Uh, especially if you're a child, you don't know what the experience and the life experience and the, and, and and knowledge of what's happening. So you should always trust in your parents. You know, because with parents is another level of wisdom they have uh, on their children. You know, if you do something against your parents, no matter who you are, how pious you are, how good you are, in this world, Allah will make you, you'll get punched and you'll fail. So it's very, very important to listen to our parents. So every person has an Amir. So he has to listen to his Amir. Um, so a child has their Amir as their parents till they become married. And uh, then the, the, the woman, once she gets, uh, you know, uh, married, then her Amir is her husband, you know. So in the same way, a person should always follow the hierarchy. As long as you follow the hierarchy and you just follow what you're told by your Amir, as long as it's not something crazy like jump from the you know, balcony or something, then you're fine, do you understand? But the main thing is to do, to follow your Amir, the mashwara, consultation, keep your heart open to what Allah is trying to show you. See, many people, non-Muslims, non-believers, they're very good human beings. But unfortunately, their heart is not open to new things, to learn new things, to... Their heart is not open to the to the to the possibility that they may be wrong so because of that they can't learn new things they can't experience new things they can't accept new things they can't accept islam even though it's blatant in their face you know this is why they say debates debates or fighting with people verbally would not change their mind have you ever seen a debate where someone talks to someone and they're just arguing 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 do they ever come to a solution and the other guy says you know what i give up i'm ready to accept islam it doesn't happen so that arrogance and pride is so deep inside the heart see that's why the prophet ﷺ told us that there's a flesh piece of flesh in your body if you correct this you will correct everything you understand so and the prophet ﷺ said three times that is your heart your heart your heart so the heart also needs cleansing it needs uh, all sorts of work you know just like the body needs its food the soul needs its food the heart also needs cleansing and if the heart is not cleansed then even your good deeds your amal your concentration you'll have so many issues everywhere you know because the heart is black because of the sins because of the arrogance because of the pride so this is something you need to sit with the mashayikh sit with the soft scholars humble yourself do things that you don't feel like doing the more you do things you don't feel like doing the more you go against your nafs your nafs is your inner desires telling you i am this i know what i'm doing don't tell me what to do yeah leave me alone let me do how i want to live my life you know so by doing things against that you will then break it you will kill it you know this is why even in you have this uh, uh thing even in the even in the uh in, in the hindu people you know the, the monks the buddhists they go to these places and um in these wilderness and they'll just do simple things and that is what cleanses the heart natural things being around natural uh, beauty 
and cleaning and simple humble things then Allah will give you um, make you humble open your heart do you understand I don't know it's very difficult to uh, quantify how to bring this about but sit with the mashayikh sit with the scholars learn about how to do this and children also need to do this unfortunately sadly this is a disease if it's not uh, solved while the children are young then it will cause problems in the future and it will become hard you know like when a dirt is not being cleansed you know like, a, like if there's a dirt that's not been cleansed for a long time it becomes black and then it becomes hard then to clean it is very difficult but if you clean it while the dirt has just happened you know like our parents say when we make a mess clean it now you're like oh, I'll clean it later but you clean it now why because it's easier to clean it now and if you wait later on it'll be very difficult to clean hope that kind of makes sense so may Allah give us to, to cleanse our heart and become purified to stay away from arrogance and pride and keep our heart open to the signs that Allah is telling us and don't believe or don't rely upon your own self remember Allah is the one who's in control of everything you can't even control a single thing in your life only Allah is the one in control as soon as you think you're controlling it when bad things happen you're going to go crazy and angry but a person who knows Allah is the one who's doing it then whenever his plans fail he will know it's okay Allah wanted it to happen you know